about the importance of how this issue is resolved would seem to me to be strong enough to justify creating another committee. And it is only a temporary committee, so we're not tagging it forever. I'm sorry, Kevin, but that's, that's what I feel. Uh, one moment. Uh, I believe that motion is currently out of order. However, we can take that as foreshadowing, uh, as the ch well, my chair put it, once we're, out of, once we're out of committee of the whole. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, we'll just go with the parliamentary inquiry closest to me first. Martin Pine, parliamentary inquiry. Is it in order for the committee of the whole to report back anything other than a recommendation, than a recommendation to adopt or adopt with amendments? Uh, the, the committee of the whole can, I believe, report back anything it wants. To recommend the business meeting to do? To, to recommend the, anything they want to recommend the business meeting to do. Are these still parliamentary inquiries? Uh, no, this was a uh, response to the gentleman Okay. Mr. Dunn. Madam Chairman, uh, I'm still Cliff Dunn. Uh, we explicitly intended to form a subcommittee within the Hugo Study Committee, which reported this out in order to, um, you know, further further study things if it comes back. Uh, we are trying to ensure that there is focus on these individual items to the extent that they got lost in a larger mishmash this year. Now, that being said, I also want to mention that the fanzine award is also required to be a uh, nonprofit slash non-compensated thing. Fan writer is tied to fanzine, so all of these are tied to some form of non-compensation. Uh, so that, that, that's, that's not really an issue. And I would finally point out that if we don't have some sort of guidance, as several speakers have said before, we're probably going to end up with something s similar. And Mr. Bloom initially stated that he wanted a simpler definition, and I'm not sure that given the nuances of technology and changing technology they, these days, that a simpler definition can realistically result. Uh, Elspeth? Elizabeth Kovar, um, a different uh, idea can result because at the moment very few artists know that this is being debated. If they know that there's going to be a committee working on this, they will participate and therefore we will get um, input from the artistic community and get some idea of what they think is best including best professional, non-professional, -prof best pro, best fanzine. Um, if this goes back to committee, people who are involved in the arts can join up on the committee and we will get better input than we currently have. We are at two minutes remaining in debate. Um, Patrice. Uh, yeah, Patrice, sorry. <laughs> Petraea Mitchell, um, it has, I would like to echo the comments that there are multiple issues being addressed in D5 and D51, and it seems to me that there are people's opinions on the various different issues um, vary. Uh, I think that one thing that could be gained by sending this back to committee is to separate out proposals dealing with these different issues so that they may be addressed and debated separately. Uh, uh, Maureen again. Okay. This is my time. Uh, whatever. I'll be right. You've got a minute. Okay. This is Madam Chairman, I'm Maureen Starkey. Uh, it, it's funny, you go to sit down and you realize, oh, there's all this other stuff I could have said. I don't want fanzines to go away. I, and, and, and I have been 35 plus years in the computer game industry, so I know about e-publishing and all this stuff that's coming up, that this, new, this new world that we can publish things online and be seen. I just want to put a bug in your ear. Like I tell my students, computers are a fairy gift. They can let you do these amazing things, publications, incredible art, but without electricity, it might as well still be in your head. So 
think about that for a moment as we think about technology for the future. And, and let's, you know, artists, artists, uh, they're judged by the work that they do. And that's my thing. Thank you. We are at five seconds remaining in debate. Uh, so the, we do have a motion on the floor from Kent Bloom uh, to, that the Committee of the Whole rise and report back uh, to the main business meeting, uh, suggest recommending that uh, we refer back to committee. Um, all those in favor of that recommendation, please raise the hand. Thank you. Those against? Uh, the motion passes. Uh, the Committee of the Whole is now disbanded. Uh, Thank you. Mr. Chairperson, the Committee of the Whole recommends that the main business meeting refer uh, the motion back to committee. To the Hugo Study Committee or to a new committee? To, to the do? Hugo Study Committee, I believe. Yes. Uh, the, if the Secretary is able to read back the uh, Kent Bloom's motion, for the specific wording. I'm sorry, we had a Facebook fueled family crisis. It was more generic. But yeah, I think it was generic. I'm not fine. Okay. A committee. Right? Okay, then it was to a committee. I apologize. Talk to the business meeting whether it's the same or different. And you can you can have this back. <laughs> yeah, no, he said you go study. We, right, it yeah, was we're out of time. Uh, right, we are out of time. The question. <laughs> Which question are you going to that was what I was going to say. First, coming up, the question I think the bottom of the top of the stack currently would be to refer D5 and D51 to back to the Hugo Study Committee for to report next year, and uh, for Cliff to work out how he wants to handle it, whether in the main committee or in a subcommittee. Rick Kowalczyk is my seat in the chair. Yes. Any second? second? Those in favour extending for five minutes? Those against? Motion is about even. Let's have serpentine. <laughs> oh, it's two thirds. In that case, the motion is lost. Sorry. <laughs> yes, Kent? Because the, the Hugo Committee does not appear to appreciate having this referred back to them, I, I move to amend to suggest a new committee to, right. to be appointed by the chair. Thank you. Gee, what fun. Uh, there being no time left for debate, we therefore move in, uh, immediately to the amendment to the motion to refer, to refer it to a separate committee and not the Hugo Study Committee. Those in favour of a new committee, please show. Point of order, though. Plenty. Those against, please show. No, I think it's a bit. I think that passes. What was your point of order? Uh, would it be microphone. Microphone. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I got it. It's fine. Thank you. Uh, I was just about to say it. Just wait, Jesus. <laughs> I continue to be Jay Spitzer. Uh, would it be out of order to ask what the purpose of the request for extension by five minutes was? was? Yes, it would be out yes, of order. It would be out of order. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And right. Um, we believe that the uh, motion to send it to a new committee and not the Hugo Study Committee passed. Uh, is there a request for a division? I request a division. Thank you. Right. So, Yes. Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, uh, we went, we, we're going very fast, and most of us don't follow this quickly. I believe the motion, I would like to add, know exactly what we're voting for. I believe, and please correct me if I'm wrong, that the actual motion we are about to vote on is whether to amend the motion to send to committee by striking out Hugo Awards Study Committee and inserting a committee to be appointed by the chair, which means that even if it passes, the thing hasn't been sent to committee yet. We're just deciding if we co if we commit it, we're deciding which committee we're referring to. Is that correct, Mr. That Chairman? is correct. That is Thank the exact you. stack that we have <laughs> at this point. Yes, Todd. <laughs> 